Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to do a huge, and when I say huge, I mean huge okay baby big grand today's video is going to be a huge thrifting haul if you guys have been watching my videos if you guys have been tuning into my vlogs if you guys don't new vlogs every sunday at 3 p.m eastern standard time y'all know i love thrifting i love going into thrift shops and seeing what i can find finding vintage pieces finding discounted pieces finding pieces that fit my style at a low price baby I'm here for it, okay? So the girls love thrifting, the girls are me, I am the girls, and I'm sure you guys are girls too, or the boys, if you guys click on this video to tune in. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys items that I purchased in thrift shops here in Houston, Texas, as well as when I was in New York. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I found, babes, because when I tell y'all I found some great pieces, I found some amazing pieces, period. So if you guys are interested in seeing, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started, do not forget, don't forget, hit that red subscribe button down below and join the family because we are growing and growing and I would hate for you guys to miss it. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. If you like videos like this, if you want to see more, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up so that I know. And drop me a comment down below after you watch this entire video with your thoughts, with your opinion, with your comments. Leave it down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started, I wanted to address today's look, okay? Bonnie's by the gym because she is coming through, period. Um, this set is from Urban Outfitters. I purchased it on sale, so I'm not sure if it's still available, but I will go ahead and try to link it down below. My earrings are coming from Urban Outfitters as well. These are more recent, so I will link these down below. And I just have my natural hair in a puff. I tried to do some baby hairs. We're not that close, so... That may be for the better, but cute little puff. I've been waiting to do this video because I'm like, I'm always thrifting, so I'm always gonna have more stuff to add, but that just means I'm always going to keep prolonging this video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the recent finds that I found in a thrift store, and as time goes on, if y'all like these videos, we could continue to do them. So I upload vlogs every Sunday, and in my vlogs, I show you guys thrift shops I go to. But if you guys are new, I do live in Houston, Texas now. I'm from the Bronx, New York, and I relocated to Houston, Texas last year. So I live in Houston now, so majority of my thrifting finds are from the Houston area. In Houston, some of my favorite thrift shops are Value Village. They have about six or seven locations here in Houston, and each and every location I've been to has been amazing. So definitely check out Value Village if you're interested in thrifting in the Houston area. And I also love Family Thrift, and they do have an outlet, which is, I don't know in what part of Houston you would say it's in, but I'll put the address on the screen. They have a outlet where each and every day like items are a different price. So if you guys watched my recent vlog, when we went, we went on a Wednesday, I think, and all everything was 50 cent each. So I'll go ahead and leave the um, address on the screen. And if you guys want more details on that location, check out my recent vlog. So in Houston, I like Value Village. I like Family Thrift. I like Leopard Lounge. I like pavement, um, leopard lounge and pavement are more curated thrift shops, so the prices are going to be a little higher, but those are like my top four in the Houston area and in New York, I love Unique and I love, I think the real name is like My Unique and I love um, L Train. So if you guys are looking for thrift shops in Houston and New York, I would highly recommend to start off by checking those out. That's where I get majority of my thrift shopping done in both cities, but without further ado, we're going to get into the pieces. I figured we could start with accessories. So the first accessory I have are these earrings. So I purchased these from Value Village and they were $4.50. These are cute gold vintage stud earrings. Like the detail on these. The detailing on these are absolutely stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and try one side of each pair on for you guys so you guys can you know see what it looks like i usually share brands with you guys but these earrings do not have a brand on them but any items that have a brand i'll be sure to share that brand with you guys so when you guys are in the thrift shops you guys know 
you know what brands to gravitate towards for certain things so if you see something and you're like oh that's the brand you know that's the steal okay so these are how the earrings look on they're super cute okay with the hair pulled back <laughs> super cute but i love these earrings so much they're just like a classy sophisticated piece they can go with so many different things i can see myself wearing this with like a um a colorful bomber jacket um, you guys know that purple jacket that I have that I purchased when I was in New York. I will wear it with that just because, hold on, let me grab it just to see how it looks together. So this is the jacket that I speak of. So I purchased this jacket. I think I told you guys the wrong location the last time. I got this from L Train, the one on 14th Street, L Train Vintage in New York. But I will wear these earrings with this jacket. Super cute, like. A look the gold in the earrings bring out the gold accents of the jacket so i absolutely love that but yeah these earrings i can see myself wearing time and time again i could go ahead and dress them up like if i'm going to an elegant classy event i can wear these earrings too so love them four dollars and fifty cents well spent next up from unique i got these pearl drop earrings these are super cute i don't know what it has been but i've been super into drop earrings i feel like they give a classy look and i used to think that drop earrings gave like a lady of a particular age but i found that it depends what you wear them with so i'm gonna go ahead and wear these drop earrings whenever i have my hair up or like pull back so that you can really concentrate on the earrings as you guys can see super freaking cute they're giving chanel okay they are giving a vintage and i absolutely love them they have this detailing around the oh not the baby here slicked down honey but they have this detailing around the rim of the top of the stud with like these little faux diamonds if you will and i absolutely love that i can see myself wearing these earrings like out to dinner dressing it up with like a nice top i love these earrings because they're not really like a statement piece like it's not like the earrings are going to be the piece of your outfit they can complement so many different things and i absolutely love that so i plan on wearing these earrings with this like black puff top that i got from zara if you guys have watched my last zara haul i showed you guys this like um puffy halter top that i got i will wear these earrings with that Hmm. that's gonna have to be for a dinner date date okay that deserves a dinner date date not a dinner date with friends like a dinner date with somebody stud <laughs> and the last pair of earrings that i got are these studs these are like gold studs with this pearl in the middle and super cute let me try them on so you guys can see these are more of like a fancier earring for me like these are definitely screaming like dinner day i don't think i can really see myself dressing these down with like a pair of sneakers but you never know you never know okay but i absolutely love these earrings they look so freaking nice definitely bring out my facial features i feel like but yeah this is more of like a dressier earring i was on the edge of buying these but i was just like they're cute they're fire so i'm gonna go ahead and get them i'm the type of person where every time i get a dress i'll be like damn i wish i got those earrings or damn i wish that bag i got that bag because Whenever I'm putting outfits together, I feel like I usually surprisingly struggle with like accessories. I always feel like I don't have enough accessories. So especially when I go thrifting, that is my time to cash out. I'm like, oh, this bag is cute. These earrings are cute. This necklace is cute. So I love finding accessories when I'm thrifting because one, they're cheaper. And so these earrings definitely give me like, you know, mature. They give me classy. They give me dinner date with somebody said so next up i got a few brooches i purchased all of these brooches at my unique in new york i go to the location in the bronx i believe they only have one location in the bronx but it is next to the one train if there are multiple locations so that you guys can decide and see which one but they have like a ton of brooches and if you're looking for brooches i feel like those shops are a great place to look i don't really see many retail stores nowadays carrying brooches besides like you know higher end stores like the neiman marcus's the nordstrom's but if you want brooches for a discounted or reasonable price check out your local thrift shop so let's go ahead and get into it so the first one that i got is this black and green brooch it's super cute i felt like the colors complemented each other so well but this gives me more of like a winter time tee like i wouldn't wear this in the summertime on a blazer this deserves a shine in the winter um let me see if there's there is no brand on this 
Roche. This brush was basically seven dollars, sixteen ninety nine, and I did get it fifty percent off. So you girl paid like three dollars and fifty cents for this brush. Absolutely love that for me. But I could see myself wearing this like on a blazer. Super cute. Like ugh. I also picked up this brush. This brush is from the brand Monet. Monet is a popular vintage brand for brushes. So I picked this one up. It's pretty simple, but since it's so simple, I feel like I can do so much with it. So I did wear it on a black blazer for an event that I had for work, and I could also see myself using this brooch to like tie up a skirt that is one of my favorite ways to use a brooch if you have like a long skirt that is like maxi or midi and you want to add a little bit of personality to it a little bit of zhuzh a little bit of whole chic go ahead and take you a brooch and pin up that skirt and it'll give you like a nice layered flowy effect i've done that to multiple skirts and people think it comes like that and i'm like no <laughs> that's the thing okay you can do so many different things with fashion and i love that because it expresses your way of wearing a piece it's not like everybody's gonna get a piece from the store and wear it the same way you could go ahead and add your personality to it so i said all that i have to say one of my favorite ways to use a brooch is to go ahead and pin up a skirt and give it like a nice layered effect my fave and the last brooch that i picked up from my unique is this one let me see if it has a brand yep this brooch is also from monique so monique monet <laughs> This brush is also from Monet. As you guys can see, it has a little bit of weird to it, but I wasn't mad at it at all. So this one was $5.99 and I also got this one. They had 50% off. So I only paid $3 for this brush and we love that. Okay, we love a good price. We love a good price. So once again, I will wear this brush on a blazer or I will go ahead and use it to pin up a skirt and it gives like a nice little charm to it like if you know you know but yeah i got these three brooches and for my unique i also picked up this scarf clip so it reminds me of the earrings the last pair of earrings that i showed you guys because it is like this gold shape with the pearl in the middle but scarf clips are to me hard to come by because you don't really see scarf clips on the market like that anymore so you would just go ahead take a scarf and clip it so whether you're wearing like a scarf as like an ascot you could go ahead and tied together here or on the side or if you could do so many different things but this is a scarf clip so you use it up to your discretion but that's just some ways that i would wear a scarf clip but absolutely cute i definitely want more scarf clips in my wardrobe so as i go thrifting these are definitely on my wish list so stay tuned to see what else i find so moving along in the category of accessories i picked up a backpack so i got this from value village and this was i think this was eight dollars I can't really read this. One thing about Value Village, baby, you are not going to be able to read most of the prices. But I think this was $8.08. But it is this super cute, oversized backpack. This bag can hold so much. Okay, when I tell y'all, this is giving spin a night bag. This is giving spin a night bag. Okay, this is freaking pack your ish because you're staying at your man's house. Okay, it's giving that you won't get into some trouble. So go ahead and pack everything you need. So let that to say that this bag does hold a lot. So it's in pretty good condition. All of the buckles work, all of the, you know, straps are strapping, but it is a pretty spacious bag. So I definitely plan on using this bag. Like, you know, if I'm going to spend a night, if I'm staying at a friend's house, if I'm staying at somebody's son's house, you know what I'm saying? But it's also a great bag to just carry things around in. So if I'm going like out the house and I'm like working in a coffee shop, I can go ahead and fit my computer, all of my equipment and everything that I need in this bag. So you can either wear this bag like this, I will wear this bag like on the shoulder, or I will go ahead and wear this bag on both shoulders, like so. Cute, and it has adjusters, so you can go ahead and move it up your back if you want to. I love how it has a nice vintage look to it, and it holds so much. When I got this bag, they did have 50% off, so I only paid like $4 for this bag, so I loved it even more. Like anything that's on a discount, I love you, but I'm going to love you even more. This next item that I'm going to share is probably my best thrift find to date. I literally almost scrumped a scrumped when I was in the store. Okay, that just means I almost screamed when I was in the store. Because I was just like, how is this still here? Like, how did nobody pick this up? It was waiting for me. God, did you need this here for me? Are you guys ready to see what it is? Are y'all ready to see what it is? Are y'all ready? to see my baby girl <laughs> my baby girl so i found this silver isimiyaki tote in a value village right so i saw the bag and i'm like oh this is cute because i've always wanted an isimiyaki tote 
but I was just like, I'm not paying Essie Miyake to money, okay? You feel me? So I was like, okay, this is a cute little dupe or whatever. But I went inside of the bag and I saw inside of the bag that indeed <laughs> it is an Essie Miyake bag, okay? It's not a dupe, it's the real deal. So I was like, okay, we warm it up now. Let me look at the price. So the price tag on this bag was $6.50. Yes, you heard me right. $6.50 US dollars. And not only that, but that day Value Village had 50% off. So I paid half of that. So I basically paid $3.25 for this bag right here. When I tell y'all, when I tell y'all that this bag right here is about to be glued to my shoulder, do not be upset when y'all see me wearing this bag everywhere, okay? Every vlog, y'all gonna see this bag, okay, my baby girl, because she is so fire and I got her for an amazing price. I was, listen, I was on the phone with Kim, I'm like, Kim, I just found this bag in the thrift shop. And she didn't understand because Kim didn't know, like, what I was saying because I was probably panicking so much. But in case you guys don't know, it's Miyaki Totes retail for $425 in today's economy. I got it for $3.25. So like, for $3.25, do you hear me? Do you hear me? So yeah, when I wear this bag every day, you guys know exactly why. The inside of it looked fine, like no crumbs, no real signs of wear. The only real sign of wear, which I was guessing that is why the owner decided to get rid of it is that the strap does have a lot of like wear and tear which i'm not mad at because you're not seeing it you just need to see this side of the strap and this side of the strap look fine okay and we should be social distancing so if you see anything too much babe back that ass up okay back that ass up do whatever juvenile said back that thing up so yeah um the inside of the strap on both straps does have signs of wear but i'm not mad at it for three dollars and 25 cents baby I don't think I did too bad now. I don't think I did too bad. So yeah, this is my new favorite bag. And this is probably my best or fun to date. I just had to share it with y'all. Like, she's so beautiful. Next up in the category of accessories, I got these sunglasses from Value Village. I think I paid like $3 for them if I'm not mistaken. So these are... Oh, I'm, not, I'm trying not to mess up my babies. These are how they fit. Super cute. Like, Tom Ford, luxury, ski trips. All of that, all of that, and all of that. So I bought these sunglasses because I thought they were cute. And when I was doing research on them, I basically found out that the real purpose of these glasses are to wear while you are recovering from LASIK surgery. And I said, oh, okay. But to me, they give fashion, okay? They give looks, they give tea. So I wasn't mad at these. At first, I'm just like, damn, are people gonna know? Like, how would they know? But nobody out for no babes. Get what you get. And you don't get upset so i love them i got them because i like them so i'm happy with this purchase if you guys know me if you know kendra if you know kinesthetic you know i love a good pair of sunglasses so i had to go ahead and get these and i absolutely love and adore them girl we didn't even get into the clothes yet we did not even get into the apparel yet last up in the category of accessories i guess you can say i purchased a book so i got this book from value village and it was 50 percent off so it's this book it's called about face by scott barnes in case you guys don't know scott barnes is an og makeup artist okay this book was four dollars and 54 cents but i got it for half price so this book i got it not as a table book even though the cover is absolutely stunning but the book does have some wear and tear to it so to me i wouldn't really use this as a table book i mean i could if i want to but the real purpose of me getting this book was because of the content so inside of this book, I'm not going to show you guys too much because y'all know me. If you want to get it, you pay, okay? I don't like to ruin people's art, people's content creation because I know the feeling. But inside of this book has a bunch of different tips on how to apply mascara, lashes, makeup application. I just want my little one-two with my makeup, maybe a little three-four depending on the occasion. But I'm always looking for ways to enhance my skills on doing my makeup. And you know, YouTube videos are cool, but at the same time, a book for about $2 from one of the best makeup artists in the industry, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get it. So I do plan on using instructions in this book to like, you know, help out my makeup application. And I really love this book as I was skimming through it because there are women of color. Okay. Even though, when was this book published? Y'all, it has a signature in it too. This is from Tasha. 
This was originally Tasha's book because he signed it and he addressed his signature to Tasha. I didn't see that when I bought it because I was so busy in the context of the book. But I absolutely love that. So this book was published in 2010, so basically 13 years ago. And I feel like recently is when we've seen, you know, more inclusion of women of color in the makeup industry. So the fact that this book was written in 2010 and we see women of color, I absolutely love that. So I'm definitely going to read this book, check out some of the tips share some of the tips that work for me with you guys so that if you guys are looking to enhance your makeup application i'm gonna help y'all out okay i'm gonna help y'all out because scott barnes helped me out Ooh, okay so now we are going to move on to clothes and i kind of categorize them so let's just go ahead and get into it the first category i want to get into is vacation slash beach slash swimwear so i picked up this piece i'll call it a piece I'll tell y'all on a few from Value Village. This piece was $2.80. As you guys can see, no 50% off on her, but you know, I wasn't mad. So I think this piece is originally supposed to be like a sarong. So to tie, you know, on top of a bathing suit, like so. But I feel like it's too small to be a sarong for me. Okay, it's too small. Half the booty gonna be out. So it's like, girl, what you putting on a cover up for if it's not even covering up? So I put on wearing this as like a headscarf. So as I'm on vacation, like, you know, I have a puff right now, but just like tying my hair down if I have braids or tying my hair up if I have my natural hair out. So yeah, this piece is originally from Shein, I want to say. I think it's Shein. Well, no, it doesn't have a brand on it, but it definitely gives Shein. But it's super cute. It's this like green and white zebra pattern situation. But as I said before, the thing with fashion is you can get one thing and you can use it for whatever you want to use it for. So even if I want to put this like as a scarf on a bag, or, or even if I want to tie this into a bag as a scarf, I could go ahead and do that. You guys know that's one of the many reasons why I love scarves, because you could go ahead and you can do anything with the scarf. So what am I going to do with the scarf? Anything. Next up under the category of swimwear, I got this bikini bottom. So whenever I buy swimsuits, I like to get both pieces, even though... I may not wear both pieces together ever or all the time. I just like getting both pieces so I know I have the option. I don't know if it's just me. Comment and let me know. But I found this swim bottom and I was in the store looking for the top because I'm like, okay, somebody gave away the bottom. And it's brand new. So where the top at? Did you just not get the top? Like, did you not want to share the top with us? Or maybe somebody purchased the top already. But this is a bikini bottom and this is from the brand Davino C's and I was just feeling it and I'm like she feel real good okay she feel real expensive she feels very luxe so I went online and looked it up and then the price of this brand's bikini bottom start at $95 and it's brand new I don't really like getting used swim from the thrift shop but if it's like a top that's really cute unique or a bottom that is brand new and it's cute I'll get it so I looked this up, their bikini bottoms start at $95, so I was like, yeah. So this item was $8, but it was 50% off, so I only paid $4 for this bikini bottom. Absolutely love it. It has like a ruching detail, so I already know it's going to make my booty look big, okay? And the front is real skinny, so you know you got to make sure you are well waxed to wear this bottom. But I absolutely love, I may actually look into buying swimwear from this brand. I will link the brand down below in case you guys are interested. It's in a size extra small, but you know, your girl got a little booty, so it should be able to fit. I didn't try it on yet because I do want to wash it before I go ahead and try it on. But absolutely cute, super cute. And I, since it is like a nude neutral color, I can see myself going ahead and being able to pair this with a lot of swim tops that I have in my wardrobe already. So yeah, I was like, I need to get she. She's coming home with me. I also got this scarf. And I got this scarf with the intention of wearing it, one, as a sarong. Y'all know me with the scarf. I'm going to go ahead and wear her in a million different ways. As a sarong to like, you know, cover up a little bit. Super cute. I love the colorway of the scarf. It definitely gives like a tropical vacation <laughs> i also put away in this scarf like you know to cover my head or even tying it up as like a top situation you can do so much with the scarf y'all but going ahead and tying it up like this for like a cute little dinner look y'all see my vision do y'all see my vision but yeah you can do so much with the scarf so i love getting scarves that are like this shape like 
not too wide but very long so that you can go ahead and do so many different things with it scarves that are like a square or scarves that are like too wide they are a little limiting so if you find a scarf that's like this shape go ahead and grab it get it add it to your collection last up in the swim category i got this pink top and i got this top from um the family thrift outlet so it was 50 cents okay it's from this brand white tag plus white stag plus i'm not sure but this is the brand and for this one i wasn't even interested in the brand or anything i just looked at the top so you guys can see it's like a crinkle type of top and i feel like this is super trendy for like vacation and swim pieces so i saw the color and i'm like oh this is gonna look so freaking cute against my melanin y'all know every color look good on melanin but this right here is carnation pink situation yeah i was like i can wear this as like a swim cover-up you know leave it open let the body be seen or i can go ahead and wear it with like a pair of jeans i can do so many different things with it it is oversized so i absolutely love that so it definitely gives like shirt dress vibes but i love it the color the material it doesn't feel like too cheap either and i paid 50 cents for this like 50 cents like two quarters five dimes ten nickels for this top and then i also got this scarf it doesn't really fall in like a vacation but just i guess like other i got this scarf from value village and it's marked as a dollar and 50 cent but it was 50 percent off so it was 75 cents for this and the other scarf that i showed you guys but it's this like cheetah print so it is pretty short as you guys can see so i feel like i'm limited i can really only wear this like around my edges as a scarf situation which i'm not mad at but i picked it up because i'm like it's cute and it's also like good quality it doesn't have a brand on it but i love how it's like finished like the edges are marrowed so it gives like you know a nice clean look i love this next up i got a belt this also falls in like the other category i got this from leopard lounge so it is this brown leather belt and it does have like eagles on it so I initially bought this to go with my look for the Houston Rodeo, but I unfortunately couldn't find like boots. I was going to wear this belt with like a pair of shorts, some brown cowboy boots, a top, and you know, my braids. But that look didn't fall through, so I'm saving this piece for next year. I'm manifesting that by next year at Houston Rodeo, your girl finds a pair of good quality brown cowboy boots to manifest for me, y'all. But this belt was $17.95 from Leopard Lounge one of the curated thrift shops that i mentioned at the beginning of this video but it is super cute super good quality and it fits okay whoever owned this before um they did create extra holes in it but it has a small waist so i'm gonna go ahead and have to make my own which i'm not mad at but i have a lot of extra belts so i could go ahead and like wrap it around once i put like my jeans or my shorts on but super cute absolutely love it next up we're gonna move into the category of pajamas you guys know me i'm home 95 percent of my time so i like to invest in like cute house clothes cute pajamas cute things to put on so i can feel cute around my house okay you don't have to you know look like you in the house you can look like you outside but you in the house you get what i'm saying so i got this cute pajama set it's this tank top super cute love the colors on it love the cut and the shorts babes the shorts okay this didn't have a brand or a size on it but i was just like these are going to fit so freaking cute i'm gonna try them on over my shorts because i don't want my whole booty out <laughs> but this is how the shorts fit i love how it has this slit here so it gets real sexy okay victoria secret <laughs> victoria secret super cute absolutely love nice and loose so you know the coochie could breathe because i don't be sleeping with panties on i don't sleep with panties and i don't sleep with the bra fun fact slash side story i had an aunt where when we were growing up she would always say you're not supposed to sleep with a panty or bras on because it just suffocates your titties and it suffocates your coochie so you're not supposed to sleep with panties or a bra and i always remember that growing up so when i got old enough to you know make decisions on my own I don't sleep with a panty and I don't sleep with bras and that's just me but yeah whatever I'm going to go to sleep baby I have to be able to breathe them because once I start sweating in my sleep 
I don't need nothing being suffocated. I want everything to have access to air. And this pajama set was $6, but I did get it for 50% off. So I only ended up paying $3 for both pieces. Next up, I found these leggings, which actually have been on my wish list for a while. These are from the brand A New Day, which is sold at Target. And I love these leggings because they have a fleece lining. They have a fleece lining. And for those cold winters in New York, when I go visit, I definitely need these. So I had them on my wishes for a while and I found these in Value Village. And I'm like, yeah, I have to get them. These are in a size small, medium. And they are, they were $9, but 50% off. So I got to try these on real quick because it's hot in here. <laughs> but this is how they fit, real cute. But I will wear these like under sweatpants in the winter time when I'm in New York, as I mentioned, because they do have a fleece lining, but they're so freaking comfortable. So I'll go ahead and link them down below on Target. So if you guys are interested, you can go ahead and pick them up. As I mentioned, now I'm be out of breath. <laughs> as I mentioned, I have these in a size small, medium, and I'm usually a size four slash six in like jeans bottom. So just for sizing reference, but they fit so freaking nice. Let me put this damn so y'all can see so yeah they fit so freaking nice and they go all the way down to my ankles so you guys can see but i absolutely love these leggings as i mentioned i love my homeware so the next item that i got is this robe this is from stars above which is another brand that is sold at target so it is this black robe a little black number and it does have this lace detailing on the sleeve so it gives it like more of a sexy look but just a basic black robe i feel like everyone needs one of these in their wardrobe and this robe was five dollars and twenty cents but i did get this 50 percent on i gotta move fast because the sun is moving baby okay next up is a pair of leggings these leggings are coming from the brand colsey which is also sold at tarjier and these were brand new they still have the brand tag on them these leggings were priced as $8.50 at Value Village, but I did get them 50% off. So y'all know we love a good bag. But these are cute leggings to just, you know, lounge around the house. I'll go out and run errands in. I absolutely love. I'm wearing a size medium. And these leggings did retail for $17, as it says on the tag. So I got them for a good price. They fit really nice. I love items from Colsey because they always make the body look real mother freaking good okay Whew. next up i got another robe i love this robe so much because of the color of it as you guys can see it's a real nice like chocolatey brown color i absolutely love and i love the detailing on this robe as you guys can see it has like this floral stitching on the sleeve and then and it's also a long length so it gives like first lady of the house it gives grand sum okay it gives carrie who good Okay, <laughs> but it's absolutely beautiful, stunning. I am in love with it. I cannot wait to sashay around my house in this robe. Okay, <laughs> this robe was two dollars and twenty-five cents, as it is marked. I don't think this one was an additional fifty percent off since it was on sale already. But I'm not mad at this robe for two dollars and twenty-five cents. Like, baby, what? Baby, what? Hmm. Hmm. I'm about to move real different in this robe, okay? Not a little black dress to wear around the house, honey. <laughs> Next up, I got this little black dress. This dress is coming from the brand Stars Above, which is also sold at Swatchy A, as I mentioned. It's just like a cute little black dress to like, you know, lounge around the house in. This dress was brand new, still has a tag on it. And I paid, <laughs> I paid, five dollars for this dress because it was marked as 10 and it was 50 percent off and the retail price of this dress was 20 dollars. so uh, i think i got a good little deal it fits so well it does have padding in the boob area i'm sure i'll take it out but i just left it in for you know i guess the purposes of this video but cute little dress to just once again sashay around my house in we have another member of the ss of the SS sachet squad okay this dress is coming from forever 21 nips are out so you know i just secure the girls but this dress i saw the back and i said oh yeah oh yeah i wouldn't dare wear this out the house baby because when i tell y'all she is see-through she is see-through but she is so cute and so sexy so i 
can see myself once again sashaying around the house in this dress. But this dress is like when you got a special guest. Like you can't wear this dress and be up in the house by yourself, okay? This just is when you have a special guest. That's a special gift. You get what I'm saying? So this dress was marked as $2.50. So once again, I think I just paid this price. I don't think there was a 50% on top of this. But not bad for a cute little Forever 21 dress. Real cute, real sexy. I'll see if I can find something similar on Forever 21's website and link it down below. But babe, this dress. This dress right here. Okay, it gives my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. It gives sexy. I love it. I love, love, love it. Next up, I got a pair of pajama bottoms. These are perfect for like the spring season, the spring and the summer because of the colorway. These are so cute. These are in a size extra small. I really prefer to get my pajama pants in a size small so I have a little bit of room. But I wasn't mad at it because of the price, okay? So these pants are brand new. They're from the brand Stars Above, which is sold at Target. I got these from Value Village. And I paid... 50% off of $9, so I'm not mad. The retail price for these, based on the tag, is $18. So we got a cute price. We got a good cute price, and I absolutely love them. They are super lightweight, so they're perfect for me to go to sleep with. And they are long, so if you are looking for, like, longer pajama pants, if you're, like, a taller girl, for reference, I am all of 5 feet and 3 inches. But if you are a tall girl and you're looking for pajama bottoms, I would recommend to check out this brand, Stars Above, sold at Target, because these are long. These are real long. Like, I'm going to have to wear some heels to go to sleep with these on, but I'm not mad at it because I'd rather my pants be too long rather than too short. The next category I want to get into is active wear. So if you know me, you know I've been in the gym trying to get my summer body together or whatever. So I've really been enjoying and bragging to you guys about Joy Lab active wear. If you need active wear for an afford affordable price, even beyond these thrift finds, I'm telling you guys to check out Target. Target. So these leggings are from one of my favorite brands, Joy Lab. If you know me, I brag about their ripped items all the time. The sports bras, the shorts. And the leggings because they are so fire. Like literally, you can bend and stretch. They don't, you know, absorb the sweat. So if you're in the gym and you're sweating, nobody after no. And I absolutely love that about these leggings. So I got these leggings in Value Village. And they still have the tag on them. So the retail price for these are $34. And the price at Value Village was $17. And I did get these for 50% off. Not only did I pick up this color, I also had to get this like periwinkle purple color too because I'm obsessed like if I could go back in time and get these leggings in every color I would I believe Joy Lab still sells these but I'm not sure if they're the same as when I first picked them up like if they reformulated them or whatever but the stretch on these amazing so I'm wearing a size small in both of these and they are so comfortable so if you guys are looking for workout leggings I'm telling you guys check out Target check out Joy Lab right here Joy Lab because their leggings are way gone, I'm telling y'all. Baby, me in green, a motherfucking tea, okay? I got these leggings as well from Value Village. These are from the brand All Motion. All in Motion, which is also sold at Target. These are brand new. So if you're looking for brand new pieces, if you're like, I don't feel comfortable wearing something somebody already wore, the thrift shops have something for you too, baby, okay? Because surprisingly, they have tons of brand new items just like these okay just like these that fit me like a mother freaking glove okay so these are brand new as i mentioned the retail price is 24 dollars and i paid six dollars for these because they are marked as 12 but they were 50 percent off i love all the motion leggings because most of them have these large pockets on the side which are perfect to put your phone in so if you're like running errands or you're like you know going to pick the kids up and you're like i don't have enough hands i have to carry so many different things you can go ahead and put your phone right here, babes, okay? I absolutely love all the motion leggings. And these are Capri leggings, so they don't go all the way down. Ooh, not the booty looking kid, babe. Not the booty looking kid. But yeah, these leggings are so freaking fire. I absolutely love them. They're super stretchy. And these are a size extra small, and they fit me. I was nervous at first, but I'm like... I'll take it extra small, okay? I'll take it extra small. Last but not least, in the activewear category, I got another pair of Joy Lab leggings to work out in. I don't really do prints when it comes to working out. I don't know why. I'm just more comfortable with solids. 
but these were printed and they were cute so i went ahead and got them these are brand new so the retail price on these is 34 dollars and they were marked at 17 and I got them 50% off. So absolutely love the, these fit so nice. And I love the material because I feel like Joy Lab usually gives the girls and the boys ribbed. But these are more of like, I don't know the name of the material, but more of like, you know that active wear material. The real active wear material, if you get what I'm saying. Not the cutesy one, the real one, okay? So yeah, these fit really nice. And I could go ahead and wear these with like a black sports bra or brown sports, whatever the case is. I like, you know, giving the girls a little look in the gym so I could look good and turn, I could feel good and then I could be good, okay? But I absolutely love these leggings right here. Super cute. So now we're gonna move into like apparel apparel. And I got this sweater. Y'all may be thinking like, girl, why are you buying a Christmas sweater when it's about to be summer? And the best way to buy things, I'm telling you guys, is off season. Like in the winter, I'm checking for swimsuits because guess what? Nobody but me, and hopefully y'all after watching this clip, is checking for swimsuits in the winter time. So I was just like, let me check for Christmas stuff when it's about to be hot. So I found this sweater, super cute. It's by this brand, which is Greatland Sportswear. Super cute, and I got this from the Family Thrift Outlet. So guess what? It was only 50 cents. That's right, two quarters, five dimes, 10 nickels, 50 cents for the sweater. It's in a size large and it's 100% acrylic, but you guys can definitely expect to see me wearing this darn vlogmas because I guess early announcement. I don't know if it's too early to say this, but your girl is participating in vlogmas once again. So this one is definitely going to be incorporated into one of my looks and I cannot wait. Next up from the Family Thrift Outlet, I also got this St. John's Bay sweater vest this is in a size 2xl and this was 50 cents so this is an amazing color like this orange is just so bright and pretty so i was just like i need to get it i need to get it this is how it fits sorry you guys the lighting is shifting as the sun is setting but it's this beautiful ooh, looks even better in the sun this beautiful orange sweater vest absolutely love it's not long enough to be a sweater dress which i was expecting it to give but it's fine because i'll go ahead and wear this with like a pair of jeans and just like you know wear it up like this but i absolutely love this color orange on melanin i told y'all every color looks good on melanin so hopefully y'all understand that y'all get it i think this was the last item i got from the family thrift outlet but this is a ralph lauren button up top in this baby blue color it gives like you know men's workwear but to me i was just like it gives that it could be a look okay so it fits me super oversized which i love so i, I can see myself wearing this with like a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts to just give like an oversized lazy cozy girl look i absolutely love it has the horse right here but yeah it's super cute absolutely love it gives like a cute girlfriend look she ain't got a man, okay? So once again, I paid 50 cents for this because I did purchase it from the Family Thrift Outlet. If you've never been here before and you're in the Houston area, definitely check it out. If you're visiting the Houston area, check it out because you're going to find some great pieces for an amazing price. Okay, I also got this jacket from Value Village. This is the brand Elements with the Z, and this is a size small, and I did pay $5.80 for it. I got this on a day where they did not have 50% off, but I was not mad at the price because this jacket, this jacket was made for me. You're not telling me otherwise. It's like, girl, what? And the detailing on this, it's like, I guess you could say like crocodile situation, but it's so nice. The collar is like a stand-up collar. It's so sleek, it's so elegant, and it zips up. So it looks nice open, but it's also a tee when it's closed too. Like, it's also a tee when it's closed too. It's so fire. I mean, it is a little hot right now. <laughs> I'm really doing this try on 90 degree weather in Houston, so I hope y'all are praying for me as y'all watching these pieces, but I absolutely love, I can see myself dressing this up, dressing this down. It is a mother freaking tee and hugs the body. So freaking nice i absolutely love five dollars and eighty cents well spent next up i got this skirt so in case you guys don't know i do have a corporate job she's a nine to five baddie but also gives the girls content on the side so i got this skirt not a blending in with the aesthetics of my walls <laughs> this skirt is from the brand limited and it is a size four but i just figured it's a basic 
skirt to have in my work wardrobe and this item was tagged as six dollars but i did get it 50 percent off so i only paid three dollars for this skirt i'm not mad at this skirt for three dollars so six dollars i could have been like eh but for three dollars girl yeah i had to get her i had to get her and we come to the ends of the road so the last item that i got i had to save these for last okay because when i tell y'all if no other item in this haul was made for me these pants right here they work so these pants i love them because y'all can see look at them in the sun they're like a gold wash denim and i thought they looked so luxurious and so expensive so i saw them and i'm like oh this is cute so i went ahead into my researches i said let me see who karen kate is because that's the brand karen kate denim and when i looked these jeans up her jeans average 128 dollars and look how much i paid eight dollars 50 percent off so i only paid four dollars for these pants right here so I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna get them. They are a size, they're a size US 8, and I'm usually a size US 6, but I'm like, they look kind of small. I did the whole trick around the neck, and they fit exact, so I'm like, oop. But I'm like, I only paid $4 for them, so even if they are too small, I don't mind gifting them to someone I know that is a smaller size for me. But let me show y'all something real quick, real quick. These pants fit me. Let me go back to my little corner. These pants fit me perfectly, babes. Like, what? You're not telling me that Karen Miller, not Karen Miller, Karen Kate, didn't make these jeans for me, my booty, my thighs, and my legs. You're not telling me that. They fit so freaking nice. They look so much better on. I thought they look good on the hanger, babes. But on the body, you're not telling me that they didn't have me first in mind when they made these, okay? You're not telling me that they didn't make these and said, oh, Kendra is going to look so fire in these. So these are the pants. I absolutely love them. They fit so nice and they fit exactly like at my ankle. I was kind of afraid that they would have been too short, but it's Gucci. So absolutely love, love, love these pants right here. But I got to wear them soon because if I gain a little pound, it's low key over for your girl. But yeah. So these are all of the items that I picked up recently while I have been out thrifting. I know you guys have been waiting for this video because in my vlogs, I'm always like, thrift haul coming soon, thrift haul coming soon. And I kept my promise that thrift haul came real freaking soon. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite piece from this haul was. I would have to say that my favorite piece is, guess who? Guess who? My girl because you don't find deals like this every day and i did so i'm really happy that i did i absolutely love her and y'all can expect to see her time and time again but comment down below and let me know what your favorite piece from this try on haul was let me know do you guys thrift if you guys don't thrift i really hope that this video gives you the inspiration that you need to go ahead and check out local thrift shops in your area so you can find good deals just like me if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up drop a comment down below don't forget to subscribe for good vibes and also to see more videos like this because i'm definitely in my thrifting bag right now literally <laughs> So if you guys want to see more thrift content, comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see. Would you guys like to see like a day in the life thrifting with me? Would you guys like to see how I look through the thrift store? Because I know a lot of people's like issue with thrifting is they feel too overwhelmed. There's too many things in the store. How do you find good things when there is just so much going on? Comment and let me know what questions you guys have about thrifting or what specific types of content you guys would like to see when it comes to thrifting. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. It has been a long time coming and it's probably very lengthy, but I really hope you guys enjoy it. So until my next video, which will be uploaded on Thursday, I'll see you guys later. Love you.